today from TIAA Bankfield in Jacksonville, Florida. It's week two of Two teams here fresh off week one victories who can keep it going as we're underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And they're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school. One well, of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field, and can take off and run when under duress. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. A shotgun snap and a give to ETN. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. An early test, two plays in. This is third and two. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. And he is caught. He's going to have the first down and then some. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Jags need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. The extra point by Sly is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. This taken in right around the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes. And make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. And they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. A short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here, up to the 34. From the 34-yard line here, second and a yard. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Stroud looking to throw. That one complete, it's Tank Dell. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Stroud to the air on first and 10. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jags are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Play action. It's Lawrence. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and 10 now, it's Lawrence. To the right side, incomplete to Washington. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should have picked up a holding call. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven-yard line. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Now Lawrence. And he'll be hit as 
as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Parker, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Stroud now on first and 10. That's complete to Dell. Flashed the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Throwing now is Stroud. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. Second down and a yard. Stroud. His throw caught right around the six. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Texans football to start quarter two as they go to work on a first and goal. They'll run here with Taylor. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Jonathan Taylor, his third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive, and it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. They'll try the left side with ETN. And he'll power his way up near the 25. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. On second down, Lawrence. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. ETN up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and seven. Here's Lawrence to throw. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Texans scoop it. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. That's not one you see very often on Aaron Donald because we know he's not trying to do anything intentional, but that time, just a little too late for the officials liking. Motion man left is Kirk. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line after the loss to start out. Here's second and 11. Lawrence will throw. That ball nearly intercepted. The rookie had his hands on it, but couldn't pull it in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Now Lawrence. He'll get that underneath DTN. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. So on trots the field goal unit. And wow, this is going to be a challenge here. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it. And now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Play action. Stroud now. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball. Never lost sight of where it was headed and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. Third and one, Stroud. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Here's Stroud toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Again, it's Stroud. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Texans have taken the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Five plays there on that drive. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. On play action, Lawrence. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Texans will take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it when opportunity you can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face and analytics will tell you try and score when given the opportunity and he fires one incomplete so back-to-back -back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and ten now Stroud he'll drop this down to Taylor and a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And on fourth down, here's Cameron Johnston on to punt for Houston. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 
at 7 though on the return and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Now a second and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath DTN. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Lawrence gonna throw again. And he's gonna go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So we have reached half. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest. So we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game first and ten it's Stroud and this nearly an interception but it's incomplete well, a turnover really would have helped him there but not to be Stroud to throw it and a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. and Here's first and 10. Stroud sets up the play action. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Second and six. Stroud off the play fake. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Here goes Stroud again. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 22-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. From the gun, it's Taylor. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Stroud working out of the gun. Looking left side, and it's complete. And the Texans are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And Stroud now to throw. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. And that is caught. 
Touchdown, Texans. Take down from four yards out. And the Texans take the opening kick off. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now 21-7. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And, Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. On third and one, it's Lawrence. He's got this complete to Ridley. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Straight ahead, ETN. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. A gain of just one. From the 48-yard line, here's second and nine. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. On third down, Lawrence. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Going for it, here's ETN. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll get this down only to the 18. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. They run once more with Taylor. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Off the option, here's Taylor. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. On the draw is Taylor. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Texans are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here, I would imagine? That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Point after here coming up.
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Here's Lawrence. Screenplay. Here's ETN. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Well, hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. This offense so far on third down, three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the Texans are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Second down, another run with Taylor. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Play action. Here's Stroud. That is caught. And some room to work. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. They'll roll him out right. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. That's going to be caught, and I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Lawrence on third down. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. 
Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And now the kick short, but this is a live football picked up in the end zone. He's past the 30, and he will be out of bounds. So a clever idea on the run back, but the field goal unit able to stop it before he could really get going. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the count. Brings up second down. Now it looks like he'll throw here. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Andre Sisco. And the Jaguars are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Texans scoop it. And I don't know that that fumble's going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here on the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about, we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far doesn't matter at this point but being sloppy throughout the game not going to help them improve well, they probably don't need to run a play here but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal stroud looking to throw a quick throw they're going to be batted away and incomplete and they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one Back to throw. Stroud. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles. But that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess? He didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. Fourth down, Stroud going to try to throw for it. And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, <laughs> he wants them to feel good, but at the same time, find a way to keep improving. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several 